Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. The following are spoilers for Wednesday's episode of Emmerdale, which is now accessible on ITVX. ITV1 will broadcast the aforementioned program at 7.30 p.m. D.S. Foy came into the Woolpack to tell Belle Dingle that Tom King had been charged, leaving her speechless. Fans are aware that Tom mistreated and dominated Belle during their marriage. After Belle told the authorities, an inquiry was conducted over the course of two months, but Tom made a special effort to hide his identity by throwing away the tablet that proved his guilt. However, Nicola King was well aware that he was concealing something, and she informed the police of the incident after Carl disclosed that he witnessed Tom smashing up the disputed tablet. After another search of Victoria Cottage, the tablet was found, but it was severely damaged. D.S. Foy immediately sent the tech team to investigate in the hopes of finding the proof they needed to establish that Tom had abused Bell. For some weeks, there has been a complete lack of activity on this front, with a smug Tom thinking he has gotten away with his crimes. Bell, on the other hand, was terrified that this was the case because she complained about Tom's continued freedom after returning from the mental health facility. While Bell was taking a bath upstairs, Tom snuck into Jacob's fold and took one of her tops. He then gave it to Amelia Spencer, who thought he was innocent of the charges Bell was making against him. The wheels began turning in Belle's head, though, when she discovered that she had a jumper that was just like the one Tom had given her. She challenged the master manipulator, who became aggressive and grabbed her by the arm before dragging her out into the street. A bewildered Jimmy, who had up until this point thought Tom was innocent, witnessed the encounter. However, D.S. Foy showed up in the village to ask Tom to go with him to the station, so Jimmy wasn't the only one who saw the disturbing sights. When questioned, Tom maintained his arrogance until D.S. Foy produced photographic proof taken from his iPad. Belle's account of events, or the reality, is supported by the photographs, which showed her sitting in her living room at Dale Head, sleeping, and using the restroom. Tom was shocked and made a valiant effort to take back the story, saying he could explain everything. But just as Jimmy came to see it, D.S. Foy hauled him away to be prosecuted. Back in the village, Belle was terrified and thought that D.S. Foy must be coming to arrest her when she saw him enter the tavern. However, Belle received wonderful news from the detective, Tom had been charged. Furthermore, they have decided not to pursue the case against her. Belle smiled and hugged Lydia while fighting back tears. At last, justice has been served. Is Tom King's career truly coming to an end? Or is his terror reign expected to last a little while longer? In the most recent episode of Emmerdale, creepy Tom King intensified his nasty behavior, shocking viewers. Belle, Tom's estranged wife, attempted to remain calm on Tuesday's, November 26, journey to the Dales after finding out that Tom, who is presently being investigated, was acting as though nothing had happened when Belle learned that several of her village friends continued to stand by him in spite of the cruelty she endured during their marriage, she became even more irate. Belle was concerned that the inquiry might not go as smoothly as she had planned and that the criminal might get away with his horrible deeds, even though her family pleaded with her to be composed. Tom's infatuation grew more intense later in the episode when he found out that Belle had returned to the hamlet following a stay in a mental health facility. According to Leeds Liv, he stole into Belle's lodging, Jacob's Fold, and wandered the property while Belle was upstairs having a bath. Tom rummaged through Belle's bag on the floor of the living room and picked out her blue pullover. He brought it to his face and breathed in its aroma. He hastily concealed with the blue jumper when he suspected Belle might be coming downstairs. Belle walked to the suitcase for a towel, not realizing Tom was in the house. Later, when Tom ran into Belle on Main Street, he angrily attacked her, saying her efforts to undermine him would fail. After that, Tom gave Amelia Belle's blue pullover as a gift, which infuriated fans who vented their displeasure on social media site X. One fan wrote, OMG, Tom snatching Belle's clothing and pushing Amelia to where it made me think of Nish mistreating Suki at the start of hashtag EastEnders. For Belle, this is becoming more than just abuse, it's become a terrible and eerie fixation. At least this week, Tom will be charged. Another commented, I just finished watching hashtag Emmerdale tonight. You're a jerk, Tom. I am eager for him to be charged. They said, nice to see Belle back can't wait for her to get justice soon. 
The comment from a third viewer read, Tom, you absolute creep. A fourth admirer added, uttering, nicking Belle's top and giving it to Amelia so she can smell like Belle. Mike Parr, who plays Ross Barton in Emmerdale, has hinted at traumatic moments that will occur next week when a villain causes chaos. Ross is forced to confront his history as the ITV soap opera re-examines a heartbreaking plot point from 2014. Ross saw the heartbreaking images as Donna Windsor, Ross's first love, killed villain Gary North and committed suicide by jumping from the top of a multi-story parking lot. After 10 years, Ross is brought back to the same spot, where Donna's daughter April Windsor is now doomed. Next week, villain Jade makes a comeback to the ITV soap opera, demonstrating her dangerousness to sicken Ross. Given her knowledge of Donna, Jade abducts April and hangs her by her heavies over the edge of the parking lot, leaving Ross inconsolable. Ten years later, Ross must deal with his grief and the flashbacks of Donna's death while attempting to save April. With April's fate still unknown, Ross actor Mike has now hinted at the gloomy scenes that lie ahead. Viewers are aware that Jade is pursuing the money that was lost in the most recent altercation and thinks Ross stole it all. Ross is unaware that Mackenzie Boyd is actually the one hiding the money. Will Ross be successful in persuading the villain that he was not involved? Will she accept his explanation and release April? In response to questions about whether he misjudged Jade, Mike told The Mirror and other media, certainly not. He is aware of her danger and evil nature. I believe he is unaware of how far she will go to ensure her success and receive her money back, as well as how deep the rabbit hole she is in. In response to a question about revisiting Donna's death, he continued, it's really terrible for him. The worst memories are evoked. Seeing anybody die, especially the first female who's ever loved you and your first experience with love, to fall from a roof tethered to a pedophile. For him, it's a really traumatic experience. Given that she is Donna's daughter, Ross obviously has a strong bond with her when a child is on the line. It's really stressful. Despite the fact that he hasn't seen her in a while, he feels like a father figure and big brother to her. This occurs primarily because of his bond with Jade. He feels accountable for the money disappearing even though it wasn't truly his responsibility. Emmerdale fans outraged as Tom King's sinister obsession with Belle escalates. Tuesday night's episode of Emmerdale, November 26, sent shockwaves through the fandom as Tom King took his abusive and disturbing behavior to a new low. What began as a toxic marriage with Belle Dingle has now spiraled into a sinister obsession, leaving viewers disgusted and appalled. From breaking into Jacob's fold to stealing Belle's belongings, Tom's unsettling actions dominated the episode, sparking a heated reaction online. Fans took to social media to voice their outrage, calling Tom creepy and demanding justice for Belle. Here's everything that went down and the fan theories swirling around what could happen next. Tom's Dark Side, A Timeline of Abuse Belle Dingle's marriage to Tom King has been fraught with pain, manipulation, and control. Their relationship crumbled under the weight of Tom's abusive tendencies, eventually leading to Belle's mental health struggles and her departure from the village for treatment. Now, with Belle back in Emmerdale, Tom's fixation has taken a chilling turn. Tuesday's episode highlighted his refusal to accept accountability, even as he faces an ongoing investigation. Instead, Tom is doubling down on his obsession, escalating his behavior to a disturbing level. The Break-In at Jacob's Fold the most harrowing moment of the episode came when Tom broke into Jacob's fold, where Belle has been staying since her return. As Belle unwound upstairs with a bath, Tom prowled through her belongings, his actions both invasive and unsettling. Viewers were horrified as Tom rummaged through Belle's suitcase and selected a blue jumper. What followed was a truly chilling scene, Tom held the jumper to his face, inhaling its scent, before hiding when he heard movement upstairs. Belle, unaware of the intruder in her home, innocently retrieved a towel from her suitcase, completely oblivious to Tom's presence. This moment was a stark reminder of the danger Belle faces and the lengths Tom will go to maintain control. A disturbing gift. If Tom's actions weren't already unsettling enough, what he did next shocked fans to their core. After verbally abusing Belle on Main Street and mocking her attempts to hold him accountable, Tom gave Belle's stolen blue jumper to Amelia Spencer as a gift. This calculated move added a new layer of manipulation to Tom's behavior as he attempted to erase Belle's identity while asserting control over those close to her. 
fans were quick to draw parallels to other soap villains, with one viewer commenting on X. OMG, Tom stealing Belle's top and encouraging Amelia to wear it reminded me of Nish abusing Suki in hashtag EastEnders. This is going beyond abuse now, it's turning into a creepy and sinister obsession. Fans react, Tom is a creep. The unsettling events of the episode sparked an outpouring of anger and disgust from viewers. Social media lit up with reactions, with many fans demanding justice for Belle and calling for Tom to face the consequences of his actions. One viewer tweeted, Just finished watching tonight's episode hashtag Emmerdale. Tom, you are a creep. Can't wait for him to get charged. Another added, Nicking Belle's top and giving it to Amelia so she can smell like Belle? Absolutely vile. Tom needs to go. Fans also praised Belle's resilience, with one user commenting, Nice to see Belle back. Can't wait for her to get justice soon. Belle's struggle, fighting for justice. Belle's return to the village has been anything but easy. Not only is she grappling with the trauma of her marriage, but she's also facing an uphill battle as some villagers continue to support Tom. Her family's pleas for her to stay calm have done little to ease her fears that the investigation might not go her way. As Tom's manipulations grow more brazen, Belle's anxiety about him escaping justice only intensifies. Will Belle find the strength to expose Tom's true nature, or will his sinister tactics keep him one step ahead? What's next for Tom and Belle? As the storyline unfolds, fans are bracing for a dramatic showdown. With Tom's behavior escalating, it's only a matter of time before he slips up. But will Belle be able to prove his guilt before it's too late? There's also the question of Amelia's involvement. How will she react when she learns the truth about Tom's motives for giving her Belle's jumper? Could this revelation drive a wedge between her and Belle, or will it bring them closer together? Fan theories, will Tom finally face justice? As always, Emmerdale fans have no shortage of theories about how this storyline will play out. Some believe Tom's downfall is imminent, while others worry he might evade justice. Here are a few of the most popular predictions. Tom's arrest is coming. Many fans are optimistic that Tom will finally face the consequences of his actions. One viewer shared. At least Tom gets charged this week. Can't wait to see him taken down. Amelia turns on Tom. Some believe Amelia will play a pivotal role in exposing Tom. After discovering the truth about the jumper, she might join forces with Belle to bring him down. A violent confrontation. Others predict a more dramatic resolution, with Belle or a member of her family confronting Tom in a heated showdown. Could Kane or Zack step in to protect Belle? Tom escapes justice, for now. Not everyone is convinced Tom's story will wrap up neatly. Some fans fear he'll manage to manipulate his way out of trouble, setting the stage for a long-term feud with Belle. The bigger picture, abuse and obsession. Tom's actions have sparked an important conversation about abuse and obsession in relationships. By shining a light on these issues, Emmerdale continues to tackle challenging storylines that resonate with viewers. As Belle fights for justice, her journey serves as a reminder of the strength and resilience it takes to stand up to abusers. Fans are rooting for her every step of the way, and counting down the days until Tom gets what he deserves. Final Thoughts Tuesday's episode of Emmerdale was a masterclass in tension and drama, leaving fans on the edge of their seats. As Tom's obsession reaches disturbing new heights, the stakes for Belle have never been higher. Will justice prevail, or will Tom's sinister plans go unchecked? One thing is certain, the drama is far from over. Stay tuned to Emmerdale for what promises to be an explosive conclusion to this chilling storyline. Let us know your thoughts. Do you think Tom will get charged, or will he continue to torment Belle? Share your predictions in the comments below. A hero's test amid tragedy. Emmerdale fans, brace yourselves. Mike Parr, the actor behind the beloved yet troubled Ross Barton, has teased explosive and heart-wrenching scenes set to air next week. As a dangerous villain returns to the Dales, Ross finds himself pulled back into a traumatic chapter of his past, one that fans of the ITV soap will never forget. 
The storyline revisits the tragic death of Ross' first love, Donna Windsor, who leapt to her death in 2014 while taking down villain Gary North. Now, a decade later, Ross is thrust into a harrowing situation involving Donna's daughter, April Windsor, as she becomes the target of a sinister plot orchestrated by none other than the ruthless Jade. Chapter 1 Revisiting Ross Barton's Tragic Past Ross Barton has always been a character steeped in complexity and tragedy. A decade ago, his life was forever changed when Donna Windsor, the first woman he truly loved, sacrificed herself to stop Gary North. The haunting imagery of Donna's fatal leap from a multi-story car park has remained etched in Ross' memory. Now, the past comes crashing into the present as Ross is forced to confront his trauma in the most heart-wrenching way imaginable. The same location that claimed Donna's life becomes the setting for another nightmare, with young April Windsor's fate hanging in the balance. Chapter 2, Jade's Deadly Return The stakes couldn't be higher as Jade, one of Emmerdale's most dangerous villains, returns to the soap. Known for her manipulative and ruthless nature, Jade has a score to settle, and she's willing to go to terrifying lengths to get what she wants. Believing that Ross has stolen money from a recent fight, Jade sets her sights on him. But it's April Windsor, Donna's daughter, who pays the price. In a chilling turn of events, Jade kidnaps April and dangles her over the edge of the same car park where her mother met her tragic end. Chapter 3, Ross' Worst Nightmare Comes to Life as Ross stands on the ground below, the scene is all too familiar. Flashbacks of Donna's death flood his mind, leaving him grappling with overwhelming guilt, grief, and fear. Mike Parr has described these scenes as some of the most traumatic his character has faced, saying, It brings back the worst memories. Seeing somebody die, especially the first girl who's ever loved you and your first experience with love, to fall off a roof chained to a pedophile. It's quite a traumatic event for him. For Ross, the stakes aren't just about saving April, they're about confronting the unresolved pain of losing Donna and proving to himself that he can protect someone he cares about. Chapter 4, The Fight for April's Life The situation reaches a fever pitch as Ross pleads with Jade to let April go. But with Jade convinced that Ross has the missing money, his words fall on deaf ears. Unbeknownst to Ross, it's Mackenzie Boyd who's hiding the cash, a revelation that adds another layer of tension to the storyline. As Ross struggles to convince Jade of his innocence, viewers are left wondering. Will Ross manage to save April in time? Can he overcome his trauma to face the moment head-on? Will Mackenzie's secret be exposed, and how will that affect Ross and April's fate? Chapter 5, Ross' Relationship with April Ross' connection to April is deeply rooted in his love for Donna. Though he hasn't seen April in some time, he views himself as a protective figure in her life, a big brother or even a paternal presence. Speaking about this dynamic, Mike Parr shared. Obviously when there's a kid on the line, Ross has a great connection with her, due to her being Donna's daughter. It's very stressful. He feels like he's some sort of big brother, paternal figure in her life. This connection only heightens the stakes, as Ross feels an overwhelming sense of responsibility to save April, even though the situation isn't entirely his fault. Chapter 6, The Villainy of Jade Jade's return has reignited the sense of danger and unpredictability that makes Emmerdale must-watch television. As Mike Parr explains, Ross has always known Jade was dangerous, but he underestimated just how far she would go. He knows she's a dangerous, sinister character. I think he doesn't realize how deep the rabbit hole goes with her and what she is willing to do to make sure she wins and gets her money back. With Jade's henchmen ready to enforce her will, Ross faces an uphill battle, not just to save April, but to outsmart a villain who will stop at nothing to achieve her goals. Chapter 7, Mike Parr on Ross' Emotional Journey Mike Parr has opened up about the emotional depth of this storyline, calling it one of the most challenging arcs he's tackled on the soap. Revisiting Donna's death has allowed the actor to explore Ross' vulnerability in a way that hasn't been seen in years. Fans have long praised Parr's ability to bring nuance to Ross, and this storyline is no exception. Whether it's the raw emotion of reliving Donna's loss or the fierce determination to save April, Parr's performance promises to be unforgettable. Chapter 8, What's Next for Ross? As the storyline unfolds, fans are left with burning questions about Ross' future. Will he manage to save April and finally lay his trauma to rest? Or will the events of next week push him further down a path of self-destruction? 
Additionally, the revelation about Mackenzie's role in the missing money is sure to have major repercussions. Could this storyline set the stage for a showdown between Ross and Mackenzie? Chapter 9, Fans React to the Drama Emmerdale fans have taken to social media to express their excitement and anxiety about the upcoming episodes. On Twitter, one viewer wrote, The thought of Ross reliving Donna's death while trying to save April is heartbreaking. Mike Parr is going to knock this out of the park. Another added, Jade is the perfect villain, she's terrifying, and I can't wait to see how Ross handles her. A storyline that will leave fans breathless. Next week's episodes of Emmerdale promise to be some of the most intense and emotional in recent memory. As Ross Barton faces his past while fighting to save April, viewers can expect edge-of-their-seat drama, heart-wrenching moments, and shocking twists. Mike Parr's performance, coupled with the high stakes of the storyline, ensures that these episodes will be unmissable. Will Ross overcome his trauma and emerge as a hero, or will the past prove too much to bear? One thing is certain, Emmerdale fans won't want to miss a single moment. Stay tuned for what promises to be a week of unforgettable television.